Uh, I've been having this dream recently, this reoccurring dream that Benjamin Graham comes back from the dead and sees the new Benjamin that likes to talk about investing. This is why alcohol is such a good tool to use while investing. And it's just this visceral image of him denouncing me as a fraud on CNBC and me just bringing dishonor to my entire family. Okay, shame. Some people have it, some people do not have it, evidently. Some people need alcohol to be shameless. God, all these alcohol jokes. I don't even drink. Liquor. I don't even drink liquor. On the weekdays that often. Anyway, so once again, let me reiterate this point from the first video we made testing TikTok investment strategies. The more you learn about investing, the harder it becomes to make money. This is because learning makes you realize that everything is priced in. Despite the efficiency of the market, the day trading gurus of TikTok claim you can make millions in the stock market with the purchase of their course. Stock market made Christmas come early? <laughs> for me, the stock market made Christmas come late, or actually not come at all for any of my relatives. I decided to find the day trading course with the most obnoxious marketing and outlandish claims so we could ideally find some revolutionary trading strategy that will make us all rich. And so your boy can get some, maybe, maybe something from a thrift store for his relatives? All sarcasm aside, here's the thing. It's so absolutely inconceivable this will work that it kind of makes me think it will somehow work. Inversing your every intuition is a strategy that the internet finance community has used to make money. Confidence, competence, returns. Anyway, I wanna believe this is true. I wanna believe it'll work. I'm once again gonna go into it with an open mind. And it looks like a lot of other people have as well. 10,000 visits in the past two months. 2% 2 conversion rate is 200 people with a $294 course. $59,000. Wow. Looks like his Christmas is coming. I, it's, I don't, it's not about the money. It's about how I'm almost certain it's going to be money wasted. <sighs> it's like buying organic carrots. Aren't they all grown in the fucking dirt? Let's use a little analogy here. The marketing versus the actual course is like the options trading history you tell your broker to get level three approval compared to your actual options trading history. Um, so you're a college kid with a liquid net worth of $5 million and 30 plus years of options trading experience? That is correct, yes. I've been trading options for a while now. I was trading options during the Cold War. In fact, <laughs> I remember back in Mesopotamia when I first started trading options. Your actual experience is some guy at the gym telling you he made 10 grand buying Tesla calls. He opened a portfolio the next day. This lifestyle is not being sustained by day trading. How do I know? Because this guy who claims to live in a Beverly Hills mansion with four supercars and a private helicopter tells you in the course that he trades with a $50,000 portfolio. I actually trade with a $50,000 portfolio. Which is just so shameless, it's actually commendable. It's actually respectable because he could have just lied in this video and said his portfolio was much bigger to give this any tiny amount of credibility. For those of you who are new and may not understand, you can't make hundreds of thousands of dollars every year trading with a $50,000 portfolio. And when I say you can't do it, I mean it is mathematically impossible impossible. I'm sure most of my viewers know intuitively that this return is just too large to be repeatable or sustainable in any capacity. But why is that? There's simply too much randomness in the distribution of stock returns. It's not a skill or knowledge issue, it's just a math issue. Now, to be completely fair, I think there is a possibility that this guy could have turned $50,000 into a sizable amount of money using the golden setup that's outlined in this course. Nothing near what you'd need to sustain this lifestyle, but potentially multiple hundred percent returns. And not because the theory of the strategy actually works as described, but because the strategy effectively tells you to buy calls on stocks in the NASDAQ. And the NASDAQ is up over 100% since COVID. We'll talk more about this later. That aside, it's not fair to market this lifestyle and then imply in the course that you can do this with a $50,000 account. That will directly make people lose money. People will wonder, well, I've been doing this for a few months and I don't have an R8 yet. Guess I should risk larger parts of my portfolio to hit these absolutely insane returns. We know all too well how that ends. And we're still giving him the benefit of the doubt and saying all this money was made trading. But that seems highly unlikely as well. 
Why wouldn't you scale this beyond a $50,000 portfolio if you're making millions of dollars per year trading? He says in the course that he likes to trade the top 100 stocks in the NASDAQ for liquidity purposes. You could scale your portfolio to a million dollars, liquidity still wouldn't be an issue, and you'd be 20xing your already insane income with zero extra work. Long story short, not a chance this lifestyle is being supported by a $50,000 portfolio. It's being supported by me, buying this. Take this giant Beverly Hills house. Let's assume you own this place outright, trading with 50 grand and assuming a 50% annualized return. Better than any fund in the entire world. I don't even think you'd be able to afford your fucking property tax. Please, please, please don't harass this guy. Views and comments on these TikToks will just further push these videos to the algorithm. And people are still buying this despite the fact that most of these videos are already flooded with comments saying how it's a scam. Let's just laugh about it here and please don't buy the course. I do it for you guys. I do it so you don't have to, and so I can make money from this video. There are no heroes, guys. Regardless of the ethics of the marketing, let's take an objective look at the course content. This is one of the first lessons talking about support and resistance. The entire golden setup is based on looking at support levels, so this is a really important lesson. Each one of these red lines has been drawn to represent a support level. The idea here being that support is like a ladder. Each one of these are levels that the price should bounce off. But why is this not marked as a support level? I mean, this is a bounce just like these other ones, right? Maybe it's because by drawing a line at this level, it would demonstrate that these support levels can be broken for absolutely no fucking reason. There are some lessons in this course about risk management that I honestly don't have a problem with. It's not like they're putting any new information forward. You can watch five free videos on YouTube and gain a more in-depth knowledge of risk management, but at least the information isn't factually inaccurate. I don't wanna show too many clips from the course, but let me just break down on the claimed golden setup. We apply a 180 day moving average, a 50 day moving average, and a 15 day exponential moving average. From there, we check through all the companies in the NASDAQ 100 and look for companies where the share price has bounced off this 180 day moving average multiple times. This bouncing is supposed to be validation of the 180 day SMA as a support level. What we would do is put this stock on our watch list and wait for it to correct back down to the 180 day SMA, at which point we would buy roughly a 30 day in the money call option before the stock makes another bounce. Every single intuition I have about the efficiency of the stock market tells me there's no way this will work. An opportunity this simple just shouldn't exist. It's so absolutely inconceivable this will work that it might actually work. I decided to allocate $5,000 of my Patreon portfolio to testing this golden setup. If you want to have your money donated to Wall Street in real time, you can for just $5. You'll get access to the Patreon portfolio as well as analysis that has mostly been plagiarized from Seeking Alpha and other sources around the internet. Visit the link in the description to learn more. Once again, guys, there are no heroes in this story. After finishing the course, I started building a list of stocks that appeared to be bouncing off the 180 day simple moving average. This is the golden setup as described in the course. The scanning method consists of pulling up a list of stocks in the NASDAQ and going through them looking for this bouncing trend. After second thought, I decided to put the money into Robinhood partially for the meme, but also so we could visualize the net outcome of our trades more simply. I found a few stocks that seemed like they were setting up as described in the course. I landed on XLNX. We can see the stock appear to bounce off the 180 day simple moving average as validation. We had a rally to new highs and then a sharp pullback. I decided to buy an in the money call with 30 days until expiration like he describes in the course. Come Monday, the entire market was down, our support level didn't hold, and I'd lost $700. Everybody have a good laugh? This is actually a perfect example of how the information in this course will directly make people lose money. Support levels work until they don't, especially when you're jacked to the tits in highly leveraged options on companies that are closely correlated with the NASDAQ. I'll talk more about this later. I decided to open a second position in EXC. We could see a very similar setup forming, the 180 day SMA being tested a few times. I bought four more in the money calls with 30 days until expiration. What were the results of these two trades? Surprisingly, we actually made money, which 
Definitely makes me look like a dumbass. <laughs> ah. Okay, fucking god damn it. Yes, we made money. Clown me, I'm not even gonna lie to you, we made money. And if I would have followed the risk management outlined in the course, we would have lost money. But I didn't because I have a minor gambling problem. It was complete luck, a Christmas miracle. So I'm just gonna quickly break down why the strategies in this course are dangerous and you can clown me in the comments down below. Every strategy outlined in this course involves buying call options on stocks in the NASDAQ. NASDAQ. Scan the top 100 stocks in the NASDAQ, find one of these bullish trading setups, and buy an in-the-money call with around 30 days until expiration. There is actually not one lesson about hedging or diversification. And I don't give a fuck. I don't do either of those things. But you're telling people that you're the greatest trader of the 21st century, and then offering them an incredibly risky trading strategy that will violently implode if it hasn't already. In fact, I would bet that 95% of the people that have consistently used this strategy in the past month have lost most of their money. I think it's okay to trade this way as long as you recognize what it is and what it isn't. It's not some proprietary trading strategy that will turn you into the minority of profitable traders as stated in the marketing. It is degenerate risk taking with extra steps, where you're leveraging to the tits in NASDAQ exposure with zero hedges or downside protection. And don't give me any bullshit about stop losses. I actually had a stop loss in place as described in the risk management section of the course, but it didn't matter because my contract lost 30% of its value overnight despite the fucking supposed support level. And don't think for a second that losing $700 makes my balls tingle. But imagine if your entire portfolio was built up of these trades. This is being marketed as the secret strategy of one of the best day traders in the world. That makes people think this is somehow safe. The reality is that using this strategy, one red day and your entire portfolio implodes. Long story short, to the surprise of no one, there's no systematic trading edge that's been discovered here. If there was, they'd be printing millions of dollars every year instead of making comparatively much less selling courses. <sighs> In reality, I'm just bitter because I made money after I denounced it, and I can't even make money when I try. Now I look like an idiot. But hey, looks like Christmas is coming for me as well.